that. I just, you know, we've been on this journey together for a long, long time. And uh, I wanted to thank you uh, for the phone call. And I just wanted to ask you again, why did you want me to come over here when you? Well, you've been a good friend of Liberia. And I don't see it just as a duty. I see it as a concern for a country that you have interest in and you pursue that. And we believe your concerns are genuine. And so we've opened the door for us to work together. That's why we call you. Well, Mr. President, I, can, I can't tell you how many people worldwide, when they read your speech and you talked about having an office of the War Crimes and Economic Crime Court to, to facilitate the creation of this tribunal, international tribunal here in Liberia to bring the justice to the people. I heard it from the U.S. Uh, my phone blew up, as you can imagine. People said I could not believe, and they were so ecstatic and elated. And since I've been here, I've heard the same thing. So I wanted to, to thank you again and give you full assurances that, that we will do everything we can to help you bring justice for the victims of those 250,000 people that were killed during the two civil wars that happened. Well, Alan, you know, uh, in every country, and especially a country that boasts of independence, 176 years, and you know very well that it is because of the impunity, the disrespect and disregard for justice that have created all the heroes in this country. And we believe we have to lay this to rest. Let all the facts be known. Let people who think that they are innocent prove their case mm -hmm. so that we can lay this to rest so that this country can move forward. It is not a wish hunt. It's a matter of testifying to what you know and what you don't so that Forgiveness can be done on the basis of knowledge and truth, and that's what we're talking about. Well, you know, Mr. President, you have our full commitment to help, help realize that. And what we did in Sierra Leone, we were able to move the people on to the reconciliation phase. Because you're right, when people are walking around and they see impunity and they see people that have never been held to account and self-enriched themselves, uh, it's it's just it, it basically uh, rubs it the rubs it in the face regularly. So the fact that you are um, stepping up, taking this leadership role, I can tell you so far, the people of Liberia are ecstatic about it, and we're here to help you facilitate this properly, independently, and let the prosecutor follow the evidence where it goes. Not me, not you. Wherever the evidence follows. And, and have it done under international standards, and it'll be done properly, and it'll be done transparently. I think uh, most of the people that have been involved uh, know that if they were on the other side, they would like the truth to be told about. Sure. So the truth is truth for each and every one that have been either offended, and so, we should be happy that this will finally close the chapter of that history that has been haunting us over the years. And that's what we're talking about. Okay. Well, I personally want to thank you for your courage to do this because it was not easy. But you started it, and uh, we'll help you bring justice to Liberia once and for all. Thank you, Alan, for sticking with it. Thanks for all those who have been committed to it. Uh, we believe this is going to restore peace and people are going to move, even those who probably may have uh, been offended and those who are responsible for whatever, they will know that justice was done and their minds will be cleared. And thank you for your role. Thank you. And thank you for your time. Thank and God you. bless you. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Mr. Thanks, President. Thank you.